resources. How many decisions have you made today? When to get out of bed, what to have for breakfast, how to get to school. Life is about making decisions. Sometimes you make good decisions, other times you make bad decisions. Often there are incentives for good decisions and often there are consequences for bad decisions. The study of economics examines how economic decisions are made. Every individual, every firm, every society has to make decisions about the cost of the availability of the scarce resources. The scarce resources that go into the production of goods and services, these are called the factors of production. Land is scarce because there's only so much of it. The payment for land then is rent or mortgage. Mortgage is your paying so that you can own it sometime in the future. Rent is sort of short term. You pay rent, but you're not going to own it sometime in the future. Labor is scarce. There's only so many people who could be doctors, so many people who could be iron workers, so many people who could be teachers. And because it's scarce, there's a price to be paid. And the price to be paid for labor is salary if you're going to be a contract worker, wages which are paid based upon amount of time worked. Or you can get tips for the type of service that you give or commission on every product that you sell in the marketplace, you make a certain amount of money. The third factor of production is capital. Now when we look at capital, it must be a physical item used in the production process such as equipment, machinery, factory, which produces things to go into the production process. The payment for capital is principal and interest. You, you borrow to make sure you can get the equipment, the factory, the machinery. you got to pay back your principal amount you owe plus the interest. Please realize, though, in economics, money is not considered to be capital. Money is what's called financial capital, but because money just sits there and doesn't produce anything, it's not considered to be capital. To be capital, it must be equipment, machinery, factory, where it produces the inputs that go into the production process. The fourth factor of production is entrepreneurship. There are only so many people out there who want to become entrepreneurs, and that makes them limited. And the payment for the risk of starting a business is in the form of profit if you're good or loss if you're bad. 